This airsoft simulations review is sponsored by Mechanics Wear, Revision Eyewear, Blackhawk, Polar Star Precision Airsoft Components, MyPOV360.com, and Drift Innovation. Greetings Airsofters, this is RJ from Airsoft Simulations Magazine.com reviewing the Burst Avocado Fire Control MOSFET system. We purchased this item from ebike.com and it retails on their site for $38 plus shipping. As you can see, there isn't much to the packaging as it comes in a plastic bag with an information cardboard insert. The Burst Avocado is encased in a clear acrylic case with two small Tamiya connectors, one female for the wiring to the AEG and the other male for the connection to the battery. The Burst Avocado is slightly smaller than a 9 volt battery and about 3 quarters the thickness of a 9 volt battery, making it a nice size for any AEG. The Burst Avocado didn't come with an instruction manual. Luckily, it follows the same trigger programming as other MOSFET systems. We would like to mention that it does have a limited lifetime warranty. However, the 6mmprohop.com website address doesn't work. So if something should happen to the Burst Avocado, we really don't know where to redeem that lifetime warranty. With that being said, the Burst Avocado packs a nice punch for those airsofters not confident enough to rewire their gearbox with an inline MOSFET system. The Burst Avocado features a 1-12 burst shot mode and a continuous 30 shot fire mode. It also includes a low voltage alarm for LiPo batteries and you could program it for single shot mode to disable full auto for DMR setups. It also includes an active braking system. It is waterproof, however, with the opening in the acrylic casing, we highly doubt that claim. And it also includes that limited lifetime warranty. Here we show you the installation inside of a classic Army Magpul MOE sport line with an 11.1 .1 King Arm stick lipo. You can use pretty much any other size battery as the Burst Avocado is small enough to be tucked away in the upper part of the front handguard. Installation is easy as you just connect the female Tamiya connector with the AEG wiring and the male Tamiya connector to the battery. And for those of you who have rear wiring, we also installed it into a GNG Raider with crane stock. The wires did not pinch, and we were able to retract and extend the stock without any problems. We did try to install this in also KWA with crane stock. However, the coiled wiring inside the buffer tube took up too much space, so we weren't able to fit it in correctly. Programming the Burst Avocado is quite easy. Just plug it in, place your AEG on full auto, and pull the trigger and hold it until the motor beeps three times. This audible acknowledgement means it's in programming mode. Once in programming mode, pull the trigger to the amount of shots you want in the burst, then pull the trigger an additional time, holding it until the motor beeps once. Then the Burst Avocado is programmed in that burst. Here we'll show you the Burst Avocado programming mode in 3-shot burst. We place the AEG on full auto, pull the trigger and hold it until the acknowledgement peeps. And we pull the trigger 3 times, and on the 4th trigger pull we hold it until the acknowledgement beep. And now it's in 3-shot burst. And here we'll show you on a 6-round burst, and we pull the trigger and hold it for the acknowledgement beeps. Pull the trigger six times, and then on the seventh, hold it for the acknowledgement beep. And now the AG is on six shot burst. And here we'll show you how to reset the burst avocado by pulling the trigger and holding it, waiting for the acknowledgement beeps and pulling the trigger again and waiting for the acknowledgement beep. 
And now the burst avocado is reset. And here we'll show you the low voltage alarm. If the battery is low voltage, when you pull the trigger, all that will happen is that the motor will beep. As for drop and MOSFETs go, we think this is a great addition to any airsofters arsenal. For under $40, you get a lot of great performance and easy programming for a drop-in system for most AEGs. It does have its faults, like we said, with the lack of an instruction manual, non-working website, and waterproof claims, but overall we give it a good gear rating. We do worry that it will adversely affect the rate of fire and trigger response through the Tamiya connectors, so we'll have to do a heads-up rate of fire test with one wired with Dean's connectors in the future. We hope that you like this review. If you like this video, please like it and send it to all your teammates and fellow airsofters. And don't forget to go to our website, www.airsoftsimulations.com, or look for us on Facebook and Twitter under Airsoft Simulations, and like our sites. See you next time.